just want to go over a few things that have uh, happened in the past month. So we want to kind of start doing this for all of our meetups to talk about uh, some of the exciting things that are happening in the, uh, the web and Angular space. Uh, so you may have heard that um, Webpack 3 was released. So that's exciting. Um, there's a couple new features in there. Uh, sc uh, scope hoisting, which is a performance optimization uh, that um, instead of <clears throat> wrapping each module in a um, function closure, uh, those can all be hoisted up into a single closure so that we'll get some performance gains and things like that. Um, and then magic comments, which was a feature for if you're using uh, dynamic imports. It's not something I use uh, typically, but if that's your thing, it's in Webpack 3. Uh, I did check to see there's a GitHub issue for the Angular CLI to upgrade to Webpack 3. I think they're waiting for a few performance uh, regressions to be fixed before that happens. But it's on the roadmap. Uh, Angular 4.2 was released. Um, mostly, I won't go into all the, uh, uh, the new things, but one of the, the nice features is that it included a, a refresh of the doc site. So you'll notice if you go to the guide now, these um, topics have been reorganized, which I think is really handy. Uh, it's a lot easier to find the information. Uh, they've also added this uh, sidebar table of contents. So if you're going through those now, you can get to those sections without having to scroll through the whole thing. Uh, so that's pretty handy. <clears throat> And Angular Material is now uh, at beta 7. So there's a couple new components, the expansion panel and the uh, accordion. Uh, those haven't been documented, but the documentation's coming. Uh, some new typography extensions. So this is some SAS support if you want to deal with, you know, if you want to change some of the default uh, typography support or build your own themes. Um, there's a, a new uh, API to do that. And then uh, better support for Angular Platform Server. So if you were at last month's meetup, we talked a lot about um, Angular Universal and mentioned that there were still uh, quite a few areas in material that made it difficult to use uh, in uh, server-side rendering scenarios. So most of those bugs have been addressed. There's a few minor things, but if you're going down that route, it should be should be uh, working better in this release. And then finally, Node.js hit uh, version 8 with NPM 5. So there's a bunch of new changes, better support uh, for modern JavaScript, and um, some pretty substantial perform um, <coughs> performance improvements for NPM. Uh, so that's those are all the exciting things that have happened in the past month.